Okay, what's good with y'all? It's K3 Guys, son. Uh, I'm currently driving. I don't know if I'm allowed to be doing this. Just wanna, this is gonna be quick. Just so, so check this out. If any of y'all are fans of Maverick City Music, or if you know who Brandon Lake are, you know, you know about them, yada yada. Uh, I wanted to address the recent like stuff that people have been talking about about these worship leaders. I noticed that the same thing with the worship leaders is kind of happening to the pastors that kind of uh, fall into worldly stuff. So, so we all know the thing about Chandler Moore, like having his wife, you know, sexually dance on him and Brandon Lake do a, a stage dive into the worship uh, audience. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just address these quickly. So I love, I absolutely love Maverick City Music, love Chandler Moore, love Brandon Lake, love all of them, all of them boys and their worship is anointed, okay? But when Brandon Lake and Chandler Moore do stuff like that, I mean like, we just gotta take it with a grain of salt instead of saying, whoa, like we can't look up to these people like they're pastors. We, we, we can't give them uh, the, the, the same uh, looks, the same reverence, the same adoration as a pastor. Not that a man deserves any of that anyways, but because they're, they're you know, they're worship leaders. Chandler Moore absolutely got crucified because on his Instagram, post he posted a video of him bending over his wife after they just got newly wed so so in my past i struggled with lust and pornography on another level got deliverance i'm set free something i noticed about it something that stands out to me is that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the picture in general there's nothing wrong with what he's doing nothing wrong at all but the issue is not what he's doing he is not sinning at all there is no sin in the picture, what's in the picture. There is no sin in him posting the picture. But we grow up as Christians, we're no longer baby Christians, and we gotta get to the point where we say it's not a matter of sin anymore. It's not a matter of sin anymore. It's a matter of who are you leading to fall? You know what I'm saying? Because as somebody who used to struggle with that, I saw that and I was like, ooh, I gotta, I scroll right past it. There may be people who are struggling with issues such as masturbation, people who can't stop looking at porn, people who are who are fresh out of that stuff, who who who, who are trying to find a way out of it and to break free from it, and then they and so so they are listening to music and they go through their cool worship leaders Instagram and see that though there is nothing sinful about that post, it's not a matter of sin. It's a it's a matter of causing the sheep to stumble. Likewise, I feel the exact same way about the Brandon Lake issue. So Brandon Lake, if you didn't know, he, after a worship session, did a stage dive into the, I think, the Elevation worship audience, which honestly is beyond me. I commented on it before it removed it, and I was like, man, before it removed it from Instagram, I was like, man, like, I don't, I don't understand the atmosphere there. I wasn't there in the person, but this seems a little bit carnal seems a little bit secular and I'm not saying they're doing this but but the way to connect with with the world and get the world on board with Jesus Christ is not by acting like the world it's by acting like Jesus Christ uh, and I notice a lot of these young pastors these young uh, worship leaders and stuff they want they act kind of like the world and they want to have fun with the world so that they can lead people to Christ but in reality, it leads to their own uh, fall. I just want to finish off by saying, like, don't look at a worship leader like a pastor. Stop doing that. Stop judging these guys on Instagram and on social media because they are just mere men. But likewise, I pray that Chandler Moore and Brandon, like, understand. I, I pray for their understanding that they know Boy, I, I about missed this exit, boy. But I pray that they find their understanding of the people that follow them. Because I looked at the comments on Brandon Lake's post, though there was, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that necessarily. But there are people who were like, this is very secular and this reminds me of my old past sin. It should, you should, nobody should be seeing that. I should be seeing that out of a pastor. 
out of a, or I mean a worship leader. So that's all I have to say. Uh, I just want to make this quick. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.